Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your support towards the analysis of this channel. A few hours ago, there's a video of Moses Kuria that has been leaked to the public where Moses Kuria is engaging with certain investors head on during the investors meeting. This is something that we said long time ago, before even Moses Kuria has not been approved as the cabinet minister of investor and trade. I want you to watch that video. But before you watch that video, I want us to look at the reason why Moses Kuria is shouting and quarreling with that investor, number one. Number two, the reason behind the taxation. And number three, the rules and regulation that Moses Kuria is imposing to these investors forcefully without even negotiation. So before I, 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 I give you that video to watch, Ladies and gentlemen, if you are a visitor for the first time, ladies and gentlemen, and you have not subscribed, please do me a favor. Ensure that you subscribe, you put on the notification bell, that when I upload my videos, you get notified. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to appreciate you so much. Don't forget to like this video. When you like this video, you guarantee the support of this channel. Now watch that video, then we continue with our analysis. And who is putting the president in charge? And is he my capability and my needs are crazy enough to burn him force? Hiya, can I speak? No. <laughs> and I'm going to challenge you all the way because you, 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 there you, is you, no you, way you, you're speaking wrong. These people are working every day, every night. Make sure they pay, make the ends meet, to make sure they're volunteering jobs and don't take, don't demoralize. I will always. We say, we, we love what we do, what we want to do. Please, please, please. Please, please. Please, please. Ladies and gentlemen, this is something that I told you even before Moses Kuria was being approved as the cabinet minister of in investment and trade. I told you that Moses Korea is having that mouthy, wordy, things that even before consultation is just shouting. Moses Korea is forgetting that now it is a time of engaging each other with respect and also acknowledging the uh, opinion of investors, uniting those reasons and making the investment and trade sector to be a friendly based place where Kenyans can benefit from investors and also investors can invest can benefit from Kenyans ladies and gentlemen i want us to look at three reasons that i told you why moses korea is quarreling with these investors Today, Moses Kuria was having a meeting of investors. And the video that has been leaked that I've displayed a few minutes ago, Moses Kuria was so much commanding before even consultation. This man is forgetting that now it is a time of negotiating and relating with investors in a good and a right way. He thinks that he is still in the campaign trail, that he, that he can throw words here day in, day out. I was shocked when I watched that video, when investor, a woman, and I think he's not a Kenyan, came out bitter telling Moses Kuria why is it that Moses Kuria is imposing things rules and regulations 
without even recognizing whatever is happening currently. Number two, Moses Kuria is imposing things without consultation, negotiation, negotiation, and also working in unity to ensure that investment and trade sector is going to be a place where Kenyan is going to benefit and also investor is going to benefit. Number two, I want us to look the reason why Moses Kuria is causing panic to the investors. And this might, might cost the Republic of Kenya. And this is how it's going to affect the economy of Kenya. Moses Kuria has come out to impose those increment of taxes to these traders, tr uh, investors and traders before consultation, negotiation, and working as a united sector. The only, Moses Kuria, the only thing that Moses Kuria is doing is that he is forcing things that, look, you must do it or else no investment in this Republic of Kenya. I want to ask a simple question. If Moses Kuria will impose those heavy taxes to these investors, mark my words, these investors are going to migrate. Are they, and they are going to other countries where the investment is friendly and favorable to them. No investor can come to this Republic of Kenya to invest then at the end of the year of, or at the end of the month, the investment percentage is zero. And remember these investors, they also look at a rate of having profit. So you cannot come as a cabinet minister just to impose high taxation to these investors. Then you expect something to come positive. No. They will accept what you have forced them to do but tomorrow, they will migrate and they will remove their investment to our country and they will go to other countries. So they are going to benefit other countries, not us, because of forcing taxation. Number three and last and not least, ladies and gentlemen, Moses Kuri has come out as a person that is so much having this behavior of commanding. Do this, if you don't do this, you will see. Do this, if you don't do this, you will see. We are the government. Do this. If you don't do this, you will see. That is what Moses Kure is all now is doing. So ladies and gentlemen, something that I'm worried of is how these cabinet ministers are going to work. People like Moses Kure, these are not competence leaders. Imagine you are cabinet minister having a meeting with investors. You are exchanging harsh words towards an investor. Even if an investor is wrong, that is not how to address the investor. The investor is standing, addressing you harshly. You also are standing, exchanging words. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not a quality of leadership. Perhaps that is my opinion, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what entails your opinion. <laughs> you can give your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of great support. If you are a visitor, please consider subscribing. You put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified. For those who are returning subscribers, thank you so much. Please consider liking this video. When you like this video, assurance is that you're supporting this video. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.